So if you caught my last video about On One Photo Raw 2024, which comes out in a couple of days, uh, you'll know I'm excited about Brilliance AI. It's a new feature in this new release, and it does a really good job of balancing out the light, adjusting tones, and things like that. So I started thinking, and of course experimenting, and one of the things I was thinking about was, you know, there's another technique or feature, if you want to call it that, that I like to use in image editing that also is great at balancing out the tones and adjusting the tones and giving me a nice distribution of light, which is kind of similar to what Brilliance AI is doing um, in some regard. And that technique is HDR. Now, I know everybody doesn't love HDR, but you can do it naturally and sort of gently and come up with a really beautiful photo. So I kind of thought, well, what if I take an HDR photo, balance out the light, get it nice and kind of uh, evenly lit, and then use Brilliance AI and kind of see how that pops. And so that's what this video is. I'm going to build an HDR in on one Photo Raw 2024, and then of course use Brilliance AI and a couple of other tools or filters to get to my final result. So I've got three photos here, and I'm just going to highlight them. Now you may know from that previous video of mine, which you can check out there if you would like, that HDR is no longer uh, over here with a bunch of other sort of things that you can click on. It's kind of stuck over here in this more menu. So it's kind of cleaned up the interface. It's still easy to get to and very intuitive. I've highlighted my three photos. I'm going to go ahead and click Merge to HDR, and it will open up the HDR Merge window, which gives me the ability to do some additional customization to my HDR settings before going into Develop and then editing the image. Okay, and here's my preview image, which by the way, you can adjust the size of this in case you didn't know that. If you like to have a little bit bigger photo to look at, which I do, uh, that's something that you can do. Also, if you're not familiar with how HDR works in On One, let me know if you'd like a video about that. I can put that on the list. Just leave a comment down below. Now on the bottom, yeah, I've got the three different images that I used, uh, that I captured, I should say, in the field. And the one that's kind of uh, got the blue square around it, that's the one that they're basing the de-ghosting on. But there's also this little icon that looks like an aperture, uh, you know, on a photo, or excuse me, on a camera. If I click this other one, which is a brighter image, it's basically using that as the reference image for my exposure setting. So it's going to give me a brighter image because it's a brighter uh, photo. So if I choose this one over here on the left, it's going to be a quite a bit darker image because again, it's a much darker photo. That's a negative four, whereas the middle one is negative two and my bright one is zero. So there you go, much darker. I'm gonna go back over here because one of the things I do need to do is brighten up this combined photo and uh, that is gonna give me the best setting for it. Okay, there we go. So I've got that sorted. I also have the toning color options over here so I can come in and you know, let's say I wanna add a little bit of contrast, maybe not that much. Maybe pull on the highlights. I love that there's a mid-tone slider here. I can bring that up a little bit and maybe bring up the shadows a tiny bit as well. I've got a much better distribution of light in the photo. And I'm gonna go a little bit warmer and a little bit of a tint. It was a beautiful sunrise and one of the things I like to do and we'll be doing here of course is amping up the overall color look in the photo. I think that looks pretty great overall. Nice distribution of light, looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and click save then we'll go in and use Brilliance AI pop it a little bit more, and a couple of other things to get the final edited result. Okay, so now I've got my blended HDR photo, and I'm in Develop, and now I can just go in and use Brilliance AI, which is a great new feature, and I wanna point out while I'm clicking on that, it's gonna go in and do its AI, figure out the scene, identify different elements in the scene, and apply local adjustments with mass to them automatically, and I mean, look at that, that looks pretty awesome. Now, as you know, you can fine tune this, change the amount, you can come down here and adjust tone and color amount, and you can go into the different regions and make adjustments as well. The other nice thing, of course, is that each of these regions also corresponds to a local adjustment that has been automatically created with a mask representing the regions that were identified by Brilliance AI. So it's a beautiful use of AI to go ahead and create masks and just build a photo for me um, or an edit for me as a great starting point. And I think that looks pretty awesome, and that's pretty close to what I would be doing normally, but I want to do a little bit different stuff with color. So that's where I like to go in and do customization. So three exposure HDR blended in their HDR function, then Brilliance AI applied with local mass. Everything looks good there. And now I'm going to go over to effects. Now you'll see the HDR look here because that's built in and included when you're building an HDR. It takes advantage of their HDR look filter, which can also be used on a single exposure if you wanted it to. I'm gonna go ahead and click add filter and I'm gonna get over here to color balance. 
And one of the things I want to do is go into the highlights and just add a little bit of warmth. So I'm going to bring up some of those warmer tones and maybe a little bit higher. And I think I'll do the same in mid-tones. All I'm trying to do is create a little bit warmer overall look. Color balance is good at getting started on that. I'm going to also add sunshine. And that's a tool I like quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and bring up a little bit of warmth here. Maybe a little bit of saturation as well. And you can see what that does to the photo overall before and after. And let me turn that off. I didn't do that on color balance either. So there it is before. Quite a bit bluer overall. And now a little bit warmer because of that red I added in color balance. And then with sunshine, I created a little bit more warmth. It also brightened it a little bit. And so as you probably know with On One, and if you don't, I'll be covering this in additional videos. But you can adjust opacity, amount, glow, lots of things in sunshine. And every other filter has an opacity slider as well. So you can just kind of move things around to adjust them to your heart's content. Uh, I'm going to get Tone Enhancer. I think one thing I want to do is maybe put on the highlights just a tiny bit. Um, you know, they're bumping up against the edge of the histogram. But if I hit the J key, I don't have any blown out areas uh, in the highlights. These blue areas mean that they're uh, basically completely black. I don't mind. I like having that in my photos. A little bit like that is good to me because that indicates that there's some shadow, which means it looks kind of real. Uh, and that's one of the things about HDR is it's so um, hyper real that often it doesn't look believable. I like to make sure I have a little bit of shadow there just to make sure that it does look uh, more believable, I guess, overall. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast, see how that looks. And I think that looks fine. And the last thing I really want to do is just come in and go get Photo Filter, which is a tool that I really like. Um, I don't want blue. I want to get over here into the reds, maybe something about like that. Pull the amount down. I'm just trying to amp up a little bit of that sunrise look. And I think something like that looks pretty good. If I do the before and the after, you can see that it really brings up that warm overall look. And that's one of the reasons I like to use a photo filter like that. I actually might pull it back a little bit. I don't want to overdo it. Just trying to get a nice little bit of a warmer overall look to that sunrise photo. But there it is before and there it is now. I think that looks pretty good. Now, I do want to point out that this is a pre-release version that I'm using. And everything's not final, although I'm sure it's like this close because we're a couple of days away from launch. But there may be some minor differences when uh, things, uh, when it goes public on Thursday this week. But I think overall, this is 99% of what you're going to be having. So if you look at the before and after, before, now that's one of the brackets from the bracket set or one of the images from the bracket set. Uh, and after, you can see HDR does an amazing job of bringing up the tones, evening out the distribution of light, and then Brilliance AI really popped it additionally, right? It gave it another little oomph and uh, really got me going. And then a couple of quick things here in effects. And I've got a photo that I really like, to be honest. I think this looks fantastic. And that's using HDR, enhancing those tones, balancing out that light. Brilliance AI, new feature, which is cool and fun, and also helps balance out the light and kind of bring up some of those tones. Sticking those together in the same image works great. I'm rather pleased with it. And that's really uh, it for this one, my friends. If you don't yet have On One Photo Raw pre-ordered, you can place an order with the link down below. It is an affiliate link. And um, other than that, I'll be back soon with more videos. If there's other things you would like to see me cover in On One, leave a comment down below. I'll see you soon, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, adios.